Hello and welcome to the sixth video in my series, R&D Tax Relief Explained, UK. This video looks at how to file compliant UK research and development tax relief claims. In this video I will run through the process for compiling compliant R&D claims. This will save you time if HMRC asks questions and reduce your risk of an adverse HMRC inquiry. You should first check that you are claiming under the correct R&D scheme. The two schemes are SME Research and Development Tax Relief, also called R&D Tax Credit, and Research and Development Expenditure Credit, or RDEC. In most cases the SME R&D scheme will apply for companies with under 500 employees. But always check HMRC guidance because there are exceptions, for example RDEC may apply if your R&D is funded by a grant, or you are part of a group of companies. RDEC applies for companies or groups of companies with over 500 employees. Next your qualifying projects and activities need to be identified. At the same time do a rough assessment to identify your largest projects, in regard to qualifying research and development costs. You should also identify who your competent technical professional is, or CTP for short. The company's CTP is responsible for assessing qualifying projects and activities. By definition the CTP must have relevant knowledge, experience or qualifications. Given qualifying R&D is demonstrated by identifying what advance in knowledge or capability is being sought, usually as part of developing or improving a product, process or service, HMRC expects the CTP to know what the baseline is, in order to assess the advance. So while specialist R&D advisors will guide and advise the CTP and help in writing a summary explaining how each project meets qualification criteria, they should not decide for the company what is and is not qualifying R&D. Nor can the CTP be substituted by an accountant or a non-technical project manager or the MD if he or she is not technical. HMRC will expect to deal with the CTP over any qualification questions. Next a summary of the qualifying R&D projects should be written up. This is often referred to as the technical justification. It should cover your largest projects, or all of them if there are three or less. Otherwise cover enough to account for at least 50% of your qualifying R&D expenditure. Your qualifying R&D expenditure needs to be identified and summarized. This should be done in regard to a. The total cost per eligible expenditure category. b. The R&D cost per project, at least for your largest projects covered in the technical justification. Eligible expenditure categories are set out in HMRC R&D guidance. Costs should be drawn from your accounting records relating to revenue expenditure. All invoices for costs claimed must have been paid by the time your R&D claim is submitted in the company's corporation tax return. It is acceptable to estimate the portion of expenditure associated with an R&D cost category, if it would be difficult to know the exact value. But you should still have some rationale for how you decided on the amount. Of course estimates need to be based on actual expenditure included in the company's annual accounts in the relevant R&D claim year. A simple spreadsheet is usually sufficient to capture a top-level R&D cost breakdown. Then this can be summarized for submission to HMRC. So to recap, you need to 1. Check you are claiming under the right scheme. 2. Identify your competent technical professional. 3. Identify your qualifying R&D projects. 4. Write up project technical justification summaries. 5. Compile an R&D cost breakdown per cost category. 6. Identify the cost per project for the large projects. For more information on claiming R&D tax relief and tax credit, check the other videos in this series. Or you can book a free review using the link shown here. Thanks for watching.